So April 11th, is that the date for sure? Or is that what we suspect it's April 11th? Yeah, it is for sure. They confirmed it in a blog post today. And before, you know, before today, there was a lot of speculation on different blogs about, is it going to be April 11th? And I think some people were doubtful because that's Patch Tuesday. And they're like, would they roll out a new feature update on Patch Tuesday? But yes, that is yep. the day. <laughs> I will say too, I mean, I had heard um, earlier this year that it was going to be April 7th and I wasn't allowed to discuss that. So I don't know if that was someone just mishearing the date or if it changed or whatever, but it was kind of always, we were always thinking, you know, finalize in March and then ship it in April. But the Xbox One, that, that creator's update, you can get right now? That is correct. Okay. Although I should say, you know, with both of these things, um, they kind of staged the rollouts. And so, yes, technically the Xbox One creator's update is available today. However, you could turn in your Xbox One right now and not get it. Um, it may come out over the next, you know, so many days or whatever, uh, depending on how they stage it. So the, the Windows 10 creators update will probably take some months, I would imagine, to roll out based on past experience. So there are yeah, a lot I think of anniversary now. took three, it took three, three or more months for anniversary update to roll out. So there are a lot of knowns oh. and a lot of unknowns and known unknowns and unknown knowns. <laughs> yeah. Is that what we're saying? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's funny what we don't know still, even now. Like mm -hmm. one of the things, of course, everybody asks um, when, when we get a date like this is, okay, so when can you get it if you have MSDN or volume licensing? Yeah. 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 And the answer is Microsoft's not going to tell us till April 11th. So it could be April 11th. It might be April 12th. We don't know. They won't tell us yet when that day is, <laughs> which is kind of weird. It would be earlier than April 11th, actually. But um, yeah. 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 The other day, another date we don't know. Um, we know Windows, the version of Windows 10 creators update for phones is coming sometime after April 11th, but they again will not say uh, when. They're just say, saying it will come sometime after that. That's all. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> what, what do we know? What do we know? <laughs> Actually, what we do know is that for something called the creators update, there's not a lot of creator stuff going on in this update. <laughs> you know, I mean, um, the the two big box features they keep talking about are the addition of like a 3D builder or a 3D paint app where you can create 3D objects, uh, which you could then print to a 3D printer, share over various uh, 3D uh, websites and services and so forth. But I don't really see that impacting a lot of people, frankly. And then the other one is the um, the integration of Beam video game broadcasting capabilities, um, which, you know, too, kind of impacts a small audience. Um, and then that's kind of it. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't know that there's a lot more going on. And I think a lot of people imagined there would be, you know, a garage band type music app that Microsoft, by the way, did promote back in August, I'm sorry, in uh, October, a uh, maybe an update to Movie Maker, uh, which has disappeared. Uh, but that stuff never materialized. And so, you know, these kinds of names are silly to begin with, but it's kind of odd to me that this particular update really has nothing to do in many ways with its name. I guess you could say, though, when Windows Mixed Reality maybe is a creator's feature if you do games or build apps that use um, virtual reality technology. You're really you're stretching stretch it. it. Um, I am stretching <laughs> but it. <laughs> it's, yeah, I mean, so the problem there, of course, is that Windows Mixed Reality headsets don't even exist yet. So right. it's there for developers Soon. to take advantage of the apps that may come out of that or, you know, the distant future, really. I mean. Yeah. Did you notice, by the way, I, I asked them about um, the 3D Paint app because I know you and other people had said, mm -hmm. oh, I hope this is not replacing the regular Paint app. And they, right. they confirmed that it will not, even as they go forward, that they'll continue to be the 2D paint app mm -hmm. and the 3D paint app both in the operating system together, which I think is really good. Well, um, I understand, but you know that that wasn't the original plan, right? So I that's know. true. Right. But so many people freaked out about it um, yeah. that they changed their minds, thankfully. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The other thing that's missing besides that mm -hmm. grudge band type thing is remember on in October, they showed this app on this phone. Um, it was a mobile app. The mm -hmm. person who was demoing it walked around a sandcastle, yeah. captured the image, and then they yep. took that image and they edited it with 3D paint and then they printed the sandcastle. So that app 
is nowhere in sight and there's no date yep. or any information about that app at all. So people have asked me a lot about that app. They're like, oh, is that coming alongside creator creators update? No. And we don't have any idea, even a month or a year or anything about when that app is coming. Right. By the way, uh, sorry to go back to the paint real quick, but the other little tidbit that was in the blog post was that there are a hundred million people that actually use paint every month. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have to think that when the the uproar over paint occurred, they went to look at that very, and that's where they got that number, because you may recall uh, Windows eight, Windows eight one, whatever, different time frames. They've removed certain things from Windows, and they've always said, "Well, no one was using it." You know, um, they removed Windows Media uh, Center, for example, and they said, "Well, you know, some tiny percentage of one percent or something, most of them were missed clicks." You know, ever used the app. Well, they, I think they went and looked so they could come back and say, guys, no one uses this thing. And then they discovered, oh, wait, actually, everybody <laughs> uses it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad they kept that in.